It's been the standard of care since the 1960s. In the first few hours of life, babies get an injection of vitamin K. It's critical for all of us, helping blood clot and bones form. For newborn babies, it doesn't cross the placenta very well, so they are born relatively deficient in vitamin K. So the only way newborns can get vitamin K is through an injection, but a growing number of parents are unknowingly opting out of it. Vitamin K seems to be getting lumped in with other types of shots, usually when parents are referring to vaccines and so with this increased rise of vaccine refusal we're seeing accidental increased rise of vitamin k refusal as well and the results can be devastating Dr. Karen Cases treated a 10-week-old at Nationwide Children's Hospital with very subtle symptoms. He was fussier than normal and had small flecks of blood in his diaper. We noticed the baby was really pale. and We did some blood work and found out that the baby was actually bleeding internally into its brain. All because he didn't get a vitamin K shot at birth, a case similar to four others in Tennessee. Cases is calling on parents to make sure their babies get the shot and health care providers to find out up front if they didn't. Babies can present with some such vague symptoms that unless emergency providers were aware that this was happening, they might forget to ask and they might go down the wrong diagnostic workup. Luckily, in the case at Nationwide Children's, a vitamin K shot quickly cured the patient, but doctors say getting the shot in the first place could have prevented a near tragedy. At Nationwide Children's Hospital, this is Clark Powell reporting.